Hello everyone. Hope you all are enjoying the journey of Android learning. Dimple here welcoming you all to today's session on Android framework. Most of the times when we work on Android builds, we see this word called ninja. So uh, when we are running the entire, uh, sorry, when we are building the entire Android source code, uh, we see this word called ninja, ninja successfully started. Ninja already is running, so it will not be started again. So some messages and some uh, pop-ups in green color when the build is successful or in red color when the build is failed, we can see these messages. Uh, what exactly is this ninja? Most of us will not know what this ninja means. So today I wanted to tell you all about what this ninja in Android means. Apart from Android terms or apart from technical terms, uh, we all know that the word ninja means a person who is trained in ancient Japanese arts of self-defense. But when it comes to Android, what exactly is this ninja? How it works? What are its uses? Why we use it? All these things I will cover in today's session. So welcome you all to today's session. To begin with, what is Ninja? Ninja is a small, fast build system that focuses on doing as little work as possible to bring a project from source files to final output. We all know Android build system is vast. There will be thousands of file, files, right? So. Um, these source files have to be brought to the final output, right? be it in the form of APK or any other uh, images, system images, which can be flashed on your device. So to bring it into the final output, there will be multiple source files. That work is done by Ninja. It's designed for projects where build speed is critical, where build speed is very, very important. Uh, and also Ninja is not directly part of Android build system like Gradle, but it plays a crucial role in some parts of the Android development uh, pipeline, especially for large projects and tasks requiring higher performance. So let's move on. And to keep it simple, just remember, uh, Ninja is a small, very, very fast build system, which helps us to generate the output efficiently in Android. Okay. Uh, there are other build systems in Android already, Make, Gradle. Here in this slide, we will see how Ninja uh, differs from these build system. Regarding Make, I have done few videos uh, in my very starting of the session. I have told how to build Android source code, how to flash and what are the Make files uh, and their importance. So if you want to know about that, please refer to my earlier videos. Here, I just wanted to uh, bring out the differences between Make and Gradle and Ninja. So that's why I have put this slide here. So re related to speed, okay, if I take speed as my criteria, Make is very slow for large projects, whereas Gradle is moderate and Ninja is extremely fast. Coming to the ease of use, Make is very complex. So it's syntax. The syntax used to write these make files are very, very complex. And for to Gradle also, it needs high level DSL. Whereas Ninja is simple, explicit, and everyone can understand the format of that build not dot ninja files i'll explain uh, the build dot ninja files and its format in the upcoming slides. And if I take parallelism as my Next criteria, uh, make is limited. I mean, it cannot perform parallel tasks. It cannot perform multiple tasks at a time. Whereas Gradle has good amount. It's quite good in handling multiple tasks. Ninja is excellent. And coming to the use case, okay, when my feature is use case, uh, make is basically used to build C and C++ projects within the Android system, mostly your native side of the uh, projects. Whereas Gradle is used for Android applications. We all know that, right? So make we use for native related and Gradle we use for Android apps, whereas Ninja, it's very fast and it's used for custom builds other uh, framework related uh, builds or framework related projects packages all those are built using ninja so this was the difference between ninja gradle and make file 
so we already got an idea fairly why we use ninja but here we'll see in detail why we use this ninja so basically performance as we already spoke about the speed ninja is faster than traditional build systems like make because it avoid unnecessary works okay whatever is unnecessary it will avoid and parallel builds this is nothing but multitasking ninja executes tasks in parallel leveraging multi core cpus efficiently and simplicity ninja is designed to build targets quickly and efficiently not to describe complex rules so when your rules itself are complex it will be very difficult to uh, build your entire android system so it keeps the rules as simple so that the targets are built very quickly and important point is incremental builds only modified files are rebuilt saving significant time in large project so if i take my entire android source code only one small file i will modify okay only that modified files are rebuilt and compiled this is very good right what if if i make a small change and if there are 1000 Uh, files in my uh, project imagine just imagine the time it takes to compile all the thousand files it's very large right so ninja just uh, compiles and rebuilds only the modified files and yes definitely it saves significant time in large projects and it's very lightweight it does only one thing it's it knows only to build okay it does only one thing build and it does it perfectly it will do its job perfectly and extremely well so this is why ninja is used in android so we all know android is very vast system and we need some uh, build systems which will handle these multiple thousands of file very quickly and efficiently because of all these advantages ninja offers it's used in android so how exactly it's used in android and where exactly it fits in android so uh, in these three different parts we can uh, see ninja okay uh, first one is gradle uh, in standard android application uh, we know gradle will start all the building procedure or process it handles all the java or kotlin compilation android resource processing packaging and many more things gradle will definitely do but this gradle will invoke external tools like ninja for specific tasks too so gradle is the one who will invoke ninja next when it comes to native code we know that there is a make file which generates a build.ninja file so this make file will generate a build.ninja file to handle the compilation of all the cpp files into the .so files ninja ensures these builds are fast and only the necessary files are rebuilt so uh, in order to convert all or in order to compile the .cpp files in your natives to your .so files which are nothing but your shared libraries we can talk this c make is there no it will generate build.ninja file and it will trigger from there so here is an example a uh, .cpp files are compiled into .o files .o files are linked into .so libraries so ninja handles this entire process efficiently so ninja is used here in the native part also next important part where ninja is used here or where ninja fits in android is aosp build system aosp uses blueprint and soong to generate build.ninja files okay so what is this soong soong is also nothing but it's a modern build system used by aosp to generate efficient build rules okay uh, basically soong replaces older make based build system from nougat onwards so till nougat we were using only uh, make based build system dot android dot mk files but soong replaced these things soong will basically use android dot bp file as input and generates dot ninja files which are executed by ninja file system so basically ninja will start its execution with this build dot ninja file and someone has to generate this build dot ninja file in order to trigger that ninja execution so that is what this soong process will do 
Ninja then executes these files to build the Android platform components like system libraries, framework components, and other things. So when we basically give source uh, uh, build slash env setup dot sh, and when we give the lunch command when during our build process, when we select which target we need to build and all, that time this ninja will be invoked. I mean, in the background, this Soong will generate this build.ninja files. And when build.ninja file is executed, this ninja will start its work. So I hope this is clear. Mainly, you can uh, see ninja being used in AOSP build and also ninja can be used in native code. And also Gradle sometimes uses ninja uh, to build the app related components. This was all about Ninja. In my next session, I'll be telling you all about the structure of the build.ninja file, uh, what are the attributes which comes there and with a simple example so that it's easy to understand. Until then, everyone take care, relax and yeah, just be happy that you learned a new topic today. Signing off Dimple. See you all soon in my next session. Bye-bye.